Good day, everyone. Welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 405. And today, we're talking about pain and how pain can serve us as martial artists. My name is Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host on the show, the founder of Whistlekick, and a guy who works through the pain because I love the martial arts. I've been training my whole life, and it's really defined who I am. And now I get to share what I've learned with all of you, and it gives me the opportunity to bring on wonderful, amazing guests. We put out an interview episode once a week. And then on Thursdays, we have some kind of a topic. Sometimes I'm by myself, as I am today. Sometimes we have a guest to talk about that topic. And you can learn more, find all the other episodes we do at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. And that's where you can also find the show notes, sign up for the newsletter, and just check out a whole bunch more. Now, if you want to see everything that we do at Whistlekick, because we do so much more than this podcast, head on over to whistlekick.com. If you haven't been there recently, we actually just completely revamped the website. It's faster. Most are saying easier to navigate. And well, we've got some new products over there because we keep rolling out new stuff because that's what we do here. We're constantly improving, iterating, making things better. Now, this topic started as a question from a viewer on First Cup. For those of you who aren't familiar with First Cup, it's a video morning show that I do weekdays on YouTube. 6.30 6.30 a.m. Eastern. Of course, it's available to watch later on if you're not so inclined, but you can find it on the Whistlekick YouTube channel, or there's a direct link to the website that we run for it at whistlekick.com. The website is, as you might imagine, firstcupwithjeremy.com, because I like to keep things simple. This question came in, and it was, in short, how can pain serve us as martial artists. Actually, the question was a little bit different, but that's the question I'm going to answer because that's what I think is the interesting part. Pain. We all know what pain is. Pain is inconvenient. A lot of us would say pain is bad, but pain isn't necessarily bad because pain is a wonderful educator, especially for us as martial artists. If you fail to block correctly sparring with someone and they keep punching you in the head, you will be motivated to block. But if you don't have that input, that stress, that stimulus of pain, maybe you care a little bit less. I don't want to put my hand there. Well, you want to put your hand there because someone else is putting their hand there and it's unpleasant. Pain, of course, can manifest in a lot of ways. Pain is a type of stress. And stress can be physical. It can be emotional. It can be mental. Pain comes in all varying degrees. It can be extreme, like when you miss someone punching you in the face. You don't block it. Take a shot to the, the orbital or, or the nose. Oh, those, those stink. That hurts. Or it can be much lighter where you clash shins with someone or maybe they, they pop you in the rib. That's not nearly as bad. You'll be okay. Maybe you walk funny for a couple days. But really, at the end of the day, pain is one of the best teachers we have. Whether it's the actual pain or the idea of the pain, there are a lot of things that we take from pain. And I don't think that we talk about it enough. And I don't think we respect it enough as a teacher. So let's talk about pain a little bit more. Pain hurts. Right? I think we can, we can use those two words synonymously. If something is painful, it hurts. It's not just uncomfortable. It's not just something you'd rather not happen. But when we talk about pain, it's something that you at the very least have to work through or on the other side of the spectrum, maybe you can't at all. Maybe it's completely debilitating. We've all experienced pain. We've all experienced pain on different ends of the spectrum. Maybe not in martial arts, but you felt it. You know what pain is. But how often have you considered pain and how it makes you better? When we think about martial arts and pain and the way we use pain, there are really two things that we can think about with respect to how pain helps us. Pain can help us define our why, and pain can help us build experience. If you've ever had a sparring match with someone, whether that be in your gym, dojo, whatever you choose to call it, or in competition, and you experienced moderate to extreme pain as a result of something that happened, you probably remember that match. 
If you've been kicked in the head and it knocked you out and you woke up in pain, you probably remember that scenario, that event. But I bet you don't remember the sparring matches where there was no pain, at least not nearly as high a percentage of them. Pain allows us to connect the things that we do with our memory. Because inherently, we don't want to forget the lessons that we learned from experiencing that pain. The more we experience pain from an action, the less likely we are to undertake that action unless unless our why, the reason we're experiencing that pain, is substantial enough to overlook it. When we think about martial arts that are, quote-unquote, painful, one of the ones that comes to mind is the way Kyokushin karate, sparring, is typically trained. Tends to be light on padding and heavy on force. I've never participated in it, but I've seen plenty of it, and it's kind of rough. And I enjoy watching it, But I imagine that there might be more pain in that style of sparring than in your typical point sparring, which is what happens in a lot of martial arts schools. If the reason that you've started training in martial arts and you end up at this Kyokushin school is just because you want to get in shape, and night after night you come home from the dojo and you're getting popped in the face and it hurts, you are less likely to stick around than if your reason for being there is because you want to be the best Kyokushin fighter in the world. When you can correlate your why with the experience of pain, you're far more likely to be able to overcome it, to work through it. And let's think of this in a self-defense scenario. If someone's trying to harm you and you get punched in the face, you are much more likely to work through that than if a friend of yours simply walks up and punches you in the face. Your response there is going to be, why did you do that? You may even start to cry. You might fall over. There are a lot of things that might happen. And while all of those things could happen in the self-defense situation, they're less likely because now your why is so much different. You need to save yourself. And that matters. I could ramble on more and more, but I think you get the point. Pain is a wonderful exposer of your why. And it's an amazing teacher that helps us remember what we've experienced. So let's respect pain. Let's recognize it for the value that it has. And while we should all try to be safe, I don't think we should try to sanitize pain from our lives, be it physical or mental or emotional, and not entirely. Anyway, how does pain manifest in your life? How do you look at pain with regard to your training? I'd love to hear from you. Best place, please leave comments at episode 405 on whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Of course, you can find the episode on YouTube, and you can find all of our social media at Whistlekick, wherever you go. If you want to leave a private comment, you can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. I'd love to hear from you. And head on over to whistlekick.com. Use the code PODCAST15. I forgot to say that in the intro. PODCAST15 gets you 15% off anything that we've got there. Sign up for the newsletter. Check out our other projects like First Cup. It's a lot of fun. And the show continues to grow. Imagine waking up with me in a bathrobe drinking your first cup of coffee. Yes, it's that weird. But it's a lot of fun. And I've been enjoying it. It's making me really good at improv. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you back here soon. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. 